Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader now each week i upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys as usual please do not forget to hit that like button for me it helped the video a ton so let's get started so as usual we will start with the dixie and uh, we are always on the uh, weekly time frame and uh, if we look at uh, last week's um, uh, candle we had a uh, bearish candle as you see there was a move to the downside on the dixie we're still uh, hovering around down here in this area as i mentioned uh, much earlier in my uh, old uh, overviews we were talking about a potential retest of this area on the dixie we still did not get that retest and we've got a little bit of a bounce to the upside earlier but last week it was a bearish week as you see checking the daily time frame i was mentioning this area in my previous overview that we need to see the dollar breaking and closing above this level to call this a potential reversal toward the 92 and that was not the case last week so the market did push back down so what i'm watching at the moment on this market is uh, this level down here i want to see if this will still holding as support if that would be the case and this will hold as support again and if it give us a break above the channel i'm looking now for that continuation otherwise a break below this level that would signal a move to the downside a potentially a retest of uh, the area that i mentioned uh, earlier um the, the the minimum level would be a retest of this level in case we see a break below this area here and then a continuation to the downside gold also um, uh, still uh, a uh, market that uh, trading uh, a little bit of a uh, sideways uh, the price is still holding above the 200 moving average on the daily time frame and um, i will keep having that 200 moving average as my filter for now uh, because um, it seems like it's been holding nicely uh, so far the market trade a little bit below it and then broke uh, breaks back above it as far as the market is holding above this 200 moving average i'm looking for a potential continuation so if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that last week we had a nice break to the upside we were looking for a retest and then continuation the market did a deeper retest here if we check the one hour time frame we saw that the market did a deeper retest but uh, again as far as this area down here is holding as support uh, i'm still expecting the gold to potentially push higher uh, to the upside here but again we have a plan b and that would be a break below this uh, previous structure if that would be the case if 1840 got broken i'm looking for a potential one more leg to the downside at least and potentially bigger continuation but at least a retest of this area if uh, 1840 got broken uh, oil uh, sideways uh, last week so uh, if we look at the four hour time frame we see that uh, last week's move been uh, a sideways move as far as there is no break above these previous highs we should keep looking to sell the high and uh, potentially buying the low but um, in my opinion um, selling the high is the main idea here because i'm looking for uh, oil to give us a little bit of a deeper correction to the downside now after this double top the neckline is still not broken on the daily time frame we have a couple of reversal candles here with a strong close to the downside below these lows on friday but no break of the neckline so i'm uh, looking for oil to give us a little bit of a push down toward 49 area before maybe the next move higher so again for our time frame you see it clearly uh, for next week if they fail to break above these previous highs here i'm looking for one more leg to the downside or potentially if we see a break lower already then we look for a retest and continuation so on the one hour time frame we saw it uh, we saw last friday that we've got a break below structure we did a retest to that 200 moving average and then 
a little bit of a down move once again so as you see the 200 been acting a dynamic support on the one hour and then now it might start acting as dynamic resistance um, as well euro usd uh, let's check the daily time frame so we were looking for a potential continuation to the downside if this area would be broken there was no break uh, for this area the euro did push uh, to the upside after retesting this level here and um, if we go down to the four hour time frame we had this uh, trade idea here that uh, we might look for bearish evidence at this level to then look for sell and um, the uh, the bearish evidence let me take this off for now uh, start happen somewhere in this area as you see on the four hour time frame there was a lot of uh, uh, indecision here at around the 618 uh, the market did push all the way to 78.6 as well but as you see the the momentum stopped um, being to the upside and there was a potential uh, equal measured move here on uh, on this uh, move to the upside so it was a b c d uh, when the market reached the 200 moving average on the four hour start having trouble so uh, the main idea here to uh, look for a short is still possible but we still do not have all the signals yet we do have on the one hour time frame a little bit of a slowdown friday was very very choppy and we we could never get uh, the, the break of the neckline to then start look for continuation so this scenario is still possible but keep in mind that this market now had an impulse correction another impulse so it might give you this little impulse and then push higher anyway so that is still a possibility but i do like this idea i will still uh, keep an eye on this and if you want to play it safe you wait for this neckline to be broken then look for a retest and continuation toward this area this could be a uh, much safer idea to play it um, sterling usd so um, if we check the daily time frame here again guys we're still in a bullish uh, trending market to the upside with higher highs and higher lows but we were expecting a little bit of a trouble at this level here uh, this area um, been uh, acting as a nice uh, support previously that's why i was looking to see if it's gonna act as potential resistance we had a little bit of a bearish divergence on the rsi daily time frame and if we check the uh, four hour time frame, we still uh, could consider this market at least a consolidation. But what's happening here are the lows are getting higher. So we do have a potential ascending triangle and the break to the upside would signal a continuation move higher. But what I'm looking for here, if the Dixie to um, really reverse to the upside, then this might reverse to the downside so to play it short i want to see a break below this previous low to then look for retest and continuation toward monthly pivot point where where we might expect troubles as well so when the market reached that level and if the market reached that level um you need to take some profit um, on your trade now for the bulls because if you want to trade in the main direction of this trend uh, then you should be looking to go long and that is what um, a, a possible idea if the market give us a higher high once again then we look for retest and continuation as far as there is no break above this previous high um, not interesting to go long here the, uh, at the moment uh, usd jappy uh, gave us a nice bounce um, on friday to then get rejected rejected a little bit um I do like the idea here still on the daily we have a strong impulse and we're having a potential correction I am watching to see if we're gonna see a break so we do have a nice bullish flag here coming from um, from these lows at uh, around the 103 area good uh, level for potential reversal so this still to be considered a potential um, a bullish flag here on the daily as you see and if we go down to the four hour time frame we see it um, more clearly in detail the impulse the corrections we had a little bit of a short break to the downside last week and then the market broke back above uh, the monthly pivot point and back inside this potential support area so uh, for next week uh, i would be watching uh, to see if uh, this monthly pivot point area gonna hold if that would be the case looking for 
one more leg to the upside all in all it could still be considered a potential range here there's still no momentum at its at its best it is a uh, potential correction here and i'm looking for that continuation if we break above this uh, flag uh, channel usd chief a real sideways market last week not much happened we still have the same plan here sell the highs by the lows of the range that is still the main idea here as far as there is no break above these uh, the market will keep being in consolidation or at least moving back down to the bottom of the range and um, if they break higher we look for continuation toward monthly r1 uh, for the downside they need to break below the lows of this range also a uh, straightforward and easy plan um, if we see a strong break to the downside, then we start looking for a retest and continuation at least toward this previous low or uh, toward monthly S1. Uh, USD CAD holding the levels for now. Checking the daily time frame, we see that this area been acting as a strong support. We had a fake out uh, on uh, Thursday. The market pushed down strongly to then go back inside above the range good signal that there might there might be a little bit of a stop loss hunt before the market reverts back inside we still have a strong bullish divergence on the rsi daily time frame monthly pivot point at that level as well checking the four hour time frame we see that the 200 moving average on the four hour is a key uh, filter for now i think the bulls need to break above that 200 moving average then if they give us a retest that hold above it we look for continuation otherwise each time we reach that on the four hour time frame it might give us a trouble for one more leg to the downside because the main direction of this trend is still bearish but since we start having trouble here we might start looking for that potential reversal to happen on this uh, on this one uh, Aussie USD sideways still inside the range looking for a potential break to the downside here actually since we are testing a level of interest a potential uh, resistance area um, it could be a, a bullish flag as well as you uh, see this market been trading to the upside so it could be a bullish flag happening here and a break to the upside that could be the case so be careful about that um, it might happen but i am more interested now especially after this uh, failure to break higher last week for a potential correction back down toward this area at least so uh, this idea is still uh, a possibility and i still like uh, to uh, see it happening especially now after the rotation below the 200 moving average on the four hour uh, sorry on the one hour so i'm looking to see if this will consolidate a little bit and break lower if that would be the case i will look for a little bit more downside on uh, on this market until it breaks above the range and uh, show me some uh, continuation momentum to the upside new zealand usd so i had this trade idea last week uh, let's check the daily so on the daily time frame we had a nice move a retest lower high a lower low we were looking for a continuation to the downside because this was a this is still a potential start of a reversal and a trend to the downside now with lower lows and lower highs on the daily so the main idea was to look for a retest start looking for bearish evidence here and then look for continuation trade to the downside there was no bearish evidence uh, here so um, if you trade uh, based on uh, confirmation and signals you should not be taking the trade but i had a limit order actually at this area so i um, uh, i took the trade it uh, been um, in red for a while still in the red and um, yeah i'm still looking to see if uh, this will um, give me uh, anyway a continuation to the downside because the main idea is still valid as far as there is no break above these previous highs the main idea to the downside with and a correction impulse another correction and yet another impulse is still valid and i mean if the market will uh, do something like this and push higher again ta tag my stop loss that would be it a close above this high will um, change uh, the bias and the idea would be invalidated and that's that would be it we will look for the next trade we can never be sure what the market will do but again 
since uh, we've got this double top last week and failure to break higher and the neckline got broken i still have faith in this idea and since this this structure is still potential start of a bearish move i still have faith in this idea and um, yeah uh, for you um, to trade this now you maybe want to uh, look for your own uh, patterns and what you trade but this been a nice double top here uh, and uh, waiting to see a break below this in my opinion next week if you see a break to the downside below this you might get a better entry than me somewhere here in this area to look for the uh, trade to continue to the downside so um, yeah that was uh, basically it guys for this week thanks a lot for watching do not forget to hit that like button and uh, see you next week. Bye-bye.